everyone, Josh here, we're gonna be Noob Historical. This is our table for some Battletech Alpha Strike filming today. Uh, these roads are a little wide for the uh, mechs, but you know, it is what it is. But that's not the point of this hobby vlog. Today, I'm updating you guys on my progress for 100 Years War Project. It's not a lot, or at least it doesn't look like a lot, but I feel uh, accomplished by having completed some of this stuff. So, over here, is a French battle. Uh, I don't have the flag or banner uh, on there yet, but it will be. Wish my lighting was a little bit better. I'm just using natural light. So the coloring that I use for these guys are split between blue and yellow, and then solid blue and solid yellow on some of the knights slash men at arms. This is a this is an 18 man battle, uh, and you know, in fact. I put six to a base, so there's three bases here. But what I had thought initially was 60 by 40 bases were actually 45 by 40. However, I got them um, fitted pretty well. They're gonna look a little bit smaller on the table if, you know, compared to having a number of uh, 40 uh, millimeter bases, but I think it looks fine. Uh, and again, this is a standard size uh, battalion or battle for Hail Caesar. Uh, it's usually between 16 and I think 24 figures and I have 18, so I kind of split the difference. I started mocking up the English and this is how I'm gonna have them form. This is two stands of uh, knights or men-at-arms. You can tell, I don't know if you can tell, but some of these have the Orlais. So that's a good way to distinguish them from the French. I have to mock up a third stand. Once that is set, I'm gonna kind of record it, take pictures, so I know which figures go where, because right now they fit fairly well. I don't want any gaps in the line here, so uh, we will complete, uh, or I will complete the uh, last stand. I do have a bannerman in the back, um, and yeah, so that's it for the footnights, and this is all from the first box of footnights, so obviously I will be uh, creating another battle of French foot knights slash men at arms, and then another battle of English uh, out of the second Agincourt foot knights uh, box. And then uh, after that's done and everything's painted, I will move on to the French and English army boxes, which will give me the crossbowmen for the French and the archers, the longbowmen for the English. So um, I did start working on the mounted knights or mounted men-at-arms. And I had these weird 80 by 60 uh, bases um, laying around and so I textured them. I'm gonna put, um, so initially, I was gonna make them all French um, mounted knights, but I decided to split the box uh, between a uh, half squadron of French and a half squadron of English. And this is the first half of the French half squadron. Um, I'm gonna bring this up. So these are just mocked up. So th this one right here is actually glued onto the base and fully painted. Uh, these two are in various stages of paint and assembly and I have them poster tacked. So I'm gonna actually bring this up a little bit closer so you guys can see um, what it looks like. And I'm trying to have them in kind of like <clears throat> an angled position so when I put the second stand or the half squadron they're forming kind of like a V formation so um, this is the one that's completed nothing too fantastic again I am not a prolific or even good painter but I just want these to not be gray plastic uh, as we um, start using these for Hail Caesar but yeah so that is the um, half squadron, or half of a half squadron for the French. <clears throat> I'm gonna have them all have um, lances. So um, as a reminder, I am using Paul Scriven Smith's uh, stats for 100 Years War, our late 100 Years War. Um, so uh, I will post those down below, at least a link to his blog so you guys can see what the stats are. They're pretty um, standard uh, stats. They're all equal in terms of um, every, everything, uh, skills and all that stuff. 
Uh, but what it doesn't have, <clears throat> and this is what I wanted to do for the English, was to make a half squadron of mounted archers. And it's possible that I'm going to homebrew some of the stats for that um, once I have everything assembled. Because it would be kind of neat to have uh, mounted archers um, on the English side, although I don't know if that's historically accurate. But there are components in the mounted knights uh, box to make mounted archers. So, well, that's it. That is the progress. This is a very quick vlog. Not much um, has been done. It did take me a little while to paint these, even though I'm using contrast paints. Um, but, you know, timing, uh, free time is always a rare commodity. But pretty soon I'll be moving to the English, and then I'm going to finish up the French Mounted Knights with Lances, and then we'll go on from there. Uh, namely, I will be finishing up the Mountain Knights box by creating a half squadron of English uh, horsemen. And then we're gonna go and start building up the French and English army boxes. And that's it. All right, if you like this video, go ahead and click like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I appreciate it if you would. Click the bell notification icon to get notified of all new unboxings vlogs and all that other fun stuff coming out of the channel and then click the link in the description below to join our discord server that's the best way i can personally interact with you and chit chat you about pl caesar and any other gaming that we cover on the channel that's it thanks for watching stay tuned for more hobby vlog from wargaming new historical